Hey guys, John Chris here with AstroProductReviews.com. Doing a review today of my Skyshed pod. I've got my magical hat here that Wayne sends with all the kits. Let's talk about this a little bit. I decided to buy this pod all the way back in July and place the order and just received it a couple of weeks ago. Everything and I'll show pictures came through great. No damage in the box. Everything you know showed up as it was supposed to. The video that Wayne produces was perfect. Really good instructions on what to do to how to assemble it. Was fortunate for me that a good friend of mine has a shop and let me unbox it there and do some of the basic assembly. I did the dome halves and put the weather stripping on it, put a couple of the wall panel sections together, not the whole thing. And then we loaded it on his truck and brought it home and then finished uh, putting it together in the backyard. And I've got some time-lapse video that I'll show and some pictures. And basically my conclusion is this was everything I hoped it would be. I get asked that quite frequently. I put it on a 12 by 12 foot deck. It's got plenty of room. I can walk around the whole thing on the deck itself. It's got drainage. It's stable. I can't sit in. I didn't put a concrete pier, but I can't sit in my dome on the deck and move without shaking the tripod because I have a tripier basically with the Ioptron C EM120 mount. And so inside of my dome, I have a tripier from Ioptron. I also have the Ioptron CEM120 mount. And I have an Edge HD 11 inch that I can shoot with Hyperstar or off the back. And I also have a William Optics uh, 103 triplet. Both work fine. I've got my tripod set off to the south about 20 inches, maybe a little less. I had to s adjust it slightly, but basically there's plenty of clearance. And I've been able to shoot straight up at the Zenith with no problem and I don't have the ability to pull the dome off and I don't really intend to do that at some point maybe but for right now not worrying about it I'm in Northwest Ohio we don't get that many nights to shoot and there's always objects I can shoot where I can adjust the dome and one of the nice things about my setup and what my intention was all along was by having a deck without a permanent pier I didn't want to do anything that permanent anyway in our backyard everything can come with me if we move um, I just in, never intended on sitting out there all night watching my telescope go. I remote control the uh, setup from inside my house and basically just leave my computer outside, pre-program all my shots, and then it does the meridian flips and parks. I walk out, drop the dome, everything is good. Not being paid for this review, I want to mention that, but um, basically just very happy with the, with the pod. It was easy to put together had no issues anywhere during the process from ordering it to the shipment and delivery to communication with Wayne to the assembly and now having been able to put it to use. So very pleased, just wanted to put that out there. If you're considering one of these or if you're on the fence and I was for years, uh, just watching and kind of lurking in the forums, watching people's setups and seeing how this would go and on, along the way working on getting my wife uh, agreeing to let me put it in the backyard it was well worth it and I'm really looking forward to having this. This has already made a big difference in my world and it was ironic that I get it in early December in a weekend where the weather was good to put it together and then to have a run of three good solid days to actually get everything up and running and get images and I'll share those in the video. So again just wanted to give my thoughts. The thing is awesome. I'll share videos of how I have mine set up and then go from there. So thanks for watching.
So here we are. We've wrapped up the time lapse with my Lucky Sky Shed hat that Wayne provides, as I mentioned. And you can see here's the basic framing. I've got concrete blocks with 4x4s going down to the ground. This is where the tripe here sits. And basic framing, 16 inches on center here. Had to level it in the yard. Use the composite decking material. Very happy with this. It should last forever. Basically an all-pressure treated lumber. So we get some pretty harsh winters and we get some pretty wet falls and springs around here. Um, here are the boxes as they arrived. You can see they're nice and shrink wrapped. Two big pallets. You know, a few dings and dents in the boxes, but didn't do anything to the contents on the inside, the dome and all the side panels. I mean, everything was fine. The pod bays were good to go. They did a great job in delivering it and packaging it. Uh, like I said, just a little bit of dent in the box there, but no issues whatsoever to the contents on the inside. Here we are dragging the uh, parts back to the house and here it is all assembled with me standing inside for reference. Here I've got my scope set up inside the dome. Here it is another picture of me for scale. And then uh, set up a couple tables for my computer in here and just another shot from inside. I got my setup where I can shoot off the front or back and just take out the Hyperstar and put on my secondary all set up. Here's my tracking and everything good there. No vibration of any consequence. Another shot of the scope in action and then um, a couple of images that I've shot. I just did a couple of um, nights worth of integration of data. I shot multiple targets uh, but just put a couple here. And here's horse head and flame. Um, very happy with everything. Just did a great job. I remote control it from inside the house so I'm not out there vibrating the pod. If you like the video, click the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching my review on astroproductreviews.com.